Hey guys, okay, so I am back with another video and today I want to do a video on a new drugstore foundation that I'm trying which is the Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation Plus Concealer and I got the color Spiced Almond this is a first impression I just picked this up like an hour ago so um, I tested it out on my hand in the store but I didn't try it on my face so I do not know if this is gonna be my right color but we will see today it does come with a pump I do love drugstore foundations that come with a pump any drugstore foundation that comes with a pump is a plus to me it claims to have a medium to full coverage it's, it's lightweight oil free long wear and water resistant and sweat proof okay so I'm really eager to find out if this is going to beat my L'Oreal infallible foundation because right now that is my favorite drugstore foundation nothing can beat that so I'm really eager to find out if this is going to put that foundation to the test so let's find out alright so I am going to take a pump And so far, the color really doesn't look like it's my color. So let's, oh, ooh, okay. Um, yeah, I definitely don't think this is my color. Oh yeah, this, this might be an epic fail, so. Let's blend it out anyway and see. The consistency is very thick. It's not really, really thick, but it is somewhat uh, thick. It's like a medium uh, consistency. It's a little thicker to me than my uh, MAC Studio Fix Fluid. It doesn't look too bad. Like at, right now on camera, I think it does look a little off, but we'll have to figure something out. Okay, so this is definitely, I don't think this is my color. So, yeah, as you can see, it is not my color, but let's talk about the coverage. So, coverage-wise, it did an amazing job. Like, it covered up every imperfection that I have, all my dark spots, and you guys know I love to cover up my dark spots. It covered up every little thing, and oh my goodness, that's a surprise for a drugstore foundation. Um, it feels lightweight, but not as lightweight as like uh, the Makeup Forever HD foundation or my Laura Mercier foundation. It does not feel as lightweight as those foundations, but it does feel pretty lightweight to be a medium coverage foundation. Uh Right now it is 2.53 in the afternoon, so I can't really say I am going to do exactly 8 hours, but I will wear this foundation for the rest of the day. Um, I might go to the gym tonight, so I'm really going to be able to put this to the test and see if it can hold up, if it's really sweat proof like they say it is. So I will be back, I'm not going to say 8 hours, but I will be back once my day is complete. See you guys later. Hey guys, alright, I am back. I have had this foundation on for seven hours. It is now 9.34. Hope you guys can see that. And I first put this foundation on going on 3 o'clock. Um, so after I put this foundation on, I did run a couple errands. And then I went to the gym and I did my Zumba. And if you guys don't know what Zumba is, it's like high intensity dancing for an hour. So I was really sweating, you guys. Like... Oh my god, in Zumba, I was just, like, my face was dripping in sweat. And I cannot believe that this foundation is still on my skin after an hour of me sweating like crazy. I'm going to um, give you guys a close-up and show you, but as you can see right here, everything is still pretty much intact. Like, the foundation is still on my skin. My blush is kind of faded. Uh, my highlight has kind of faded. But the foundation is pretty much still there. It probably has faded in a couple areas. But for the most part, I still look like I still have foundation on. So, overall, I would have to give this foundation a 10. This is amazing. For it to be drugstore, 
I have never really seen anything like it. I will say my L'Oreal is one of the best drugstores foundations I have tried so far. But this is giving it a run for its money. I have not put my L'Oreal Infallible Foundation to the test when it comes to working out. So I can't really say if it will hold up to a workout. But I can definitely say this will hold up to a workout. My pros about this foundation is that it lasts for 8 hours. It controls your oil. It's sweat proof and it is dirt cheap. I own, I went to Walgreens and I bought this for $9.99. So I have so many pros about this foundation. It, it's amazing. I do have some cons. One con I will say about it is that they don't have many shades for women of color. They only have, I think, around three shades for women of color. And as you guys can see earlier, this is really not my shade. I really had to bronze up my skin to make it look more of my shade. But it's really not my shade. It's a little off. Um, and a lot of girls I see on YouTube have been complaining that there is a lack of shades for women of color. So that is a con. Um, I can't really find anything else negative to really say about it. Everything else is wonderful. It lasts all day. It's dirt cheap. It's sweat proof. It's flawless when you put it on. You only need one to two pumps to make full coverage. So I can't really find anything else bad to say about it other than the fact that they need to have more shade for women of color. But other than that, it's wonderful. I definitely, definitely, definitely would say go out and pick this up. Give it a try. Even if you have to mix um, two foundations to make your perfect shade, I would definitely say do that. Because this is worth your money. Alright guys, so that is it for my review. I am sweaty. I am tired. I want to go take a shower. And I want to go hit the bed. Until next time.